Well, there's two parts to this answer. One is all of our activities are covered by the treasure trove license, i.e. it's been stipulated by the government that we as the searchers are allowed to keep treasure as defined by the TTL. We keep 90 and the government keeps 10%. Have you ever wondered how much the Oak Island cast makes for each episode of The Curse of Oak Island? Well, today we're delving into the financial aspects of the Oak Island cruise adventure. We'll learn about their net worth and salary, as well as their different business enterprises and income sources outside of the mysterious shores of Oak Island. Stay tuned as we reveal the treasures of the financial world associated with this exciting adventure. Rick Legina. If you've seen The Curse of Oak Island, this name is almost certainly familiar to you. Rick Legina, born Richard George Legina, is an American actor, producer, and television personality best known for directing and producing television programs and documentaries alongside his younger brother Marty. Some of these include The Curse of Civil War Gold, The Curse of Oak Island, and Beyond Oak Island. Even before these performances were developed in the early 2010s, the Legina brothers had amassed a lot of popularity and riches through their various businesses. Rick Legina became well known after appearing on television. Let's start with his early life. He was born on January 25, 1952, in Kingsford Dickinson County, Michigan. He attended Kingsford High School with his younger brother Marty, but did not go on to obtain a bachelor's or master's degree. Instead, he started working as a postal worker for the United States Postal Service. He began by living in his home state of Michigan, but later moved on to Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, and Minnesota, to mention a few. I am still involved in several businesses, so I have to do that in the off season. I do enjoy wood turning. I like making things on a lathe and I guess reading about history and things like that. He and his brother grew interested in Oak Island in the 1960s after reading about it in the January 1965 issue of Reader's Digest. After nearly five decades in various fields, the two brothers resolved to learn more about the Enigma in the 2010s when they were both in their 50s. Rick spent the majority of his time after high school working as a postal worker and occasionally assisting his brother with his businesses, but he did not operate any himself. The Legina brothers' wealth stems from their popular reality television series about the infamous Oak Island. Marty and his brother were approached by Prometheus Entertainment in the 2010s, after retiring from their jobs as postal workers, to create the television series The Curse of Oak Island. The show was taken up by A&E Networks, with whom the brothers secured multi-year contracts for approximately $20 million. Both brothers put their own money into the television series and began working as directors and executive producers, as well as actors. The show's first season was a big success, capturing the attention of millions of viewers and earning it another season. Oh, I know Gary always says, things fall to the lowest point, right? If there's anything to be found in this shaft, it may be there. The show's plot revolves around two brothers who travel to the notorious Oak Island, where they are joined by other treasure hunters in search of the rumored treasure or historical items. So far, the sitcom have broadcasted 11 well-received seasons and over 168 episodes, with the Legina brothers not only starring but also directing and producing. The popularity of their initial show prompted the development of numerous new series, including The Curse of Civil War Gold, The Curse of Oak Island, Ancient Aliens, and Beyond Oak Island. After a string of disappointments, including the curse of Oak Island and drilling down, Beyond Oak Island eventually hit gold. This show, centered on Rick Legina and his brother, aims to promote other treasure hunts from throughout the world. While they frequently discuss previous and current searches, the couple travels to sites in a few episodes and becomes directly involved. It's a wonderful change from the usual structure, and it's helped bring more attention to lesser-known potential riches. Although the show ended in 2023 after three seasons, Beyond Oak Island has undoubtedly increased Rick Legina's reputation. Aside from being one of the show's two main stars, Rick also directed and produced practically all of the episodes. For the past decade, in addition to the original network History Canada, the realities have aired in over 10 nations around the world. Rick Legina rose to prominence on television within the last decade. Aside from their own realities, Rick and his brother have appeared on a number of other shows, the most noteworthy of which is The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. They have also been some of the most well-known History Channel stars, appearing in several television programs and documentaries. Now let us talk about his financial worth. How much does he make? Rick Legina's net worth 
has risen to $10 million as of February 2024 over the course of his prosperous television career. We've got to check on a few things for the money pit drilling. So keep digging, keep after it, and I'll try to get back as soon as I can. Yep. Next one on our list is Marty Legina. If you know Rick Legina, you must be familiar with Marty Legina. Marty Legina is an engineer, television personality, producer, and winery with a net worth of approximately $110 million. Marty Legina is a highly successful American businessman and media personality. Marty is also a successful entrepreneur, having produced the critically acclaimed production, The Curse of Oak Island. He was born August 26, 1955, in Kingsford, Michigan, United States. Marty Legina has given very little information regarding his personal life and early life. Marty was raised in Michigan, where he lived with his parents. However, he has not shared anything about them or his siblings. Marty finished his education in 1977 and began his career as an engineer. However, he then considered becoming a lawyer and obtained his Juris License in 1982. Marty Legina is married to Olivia Legina. He also has two children. Marty has achieved countless career milestones, but this is his most successful effort yet. Marty Legina is also a highly successful engineer, having earned a BSc in Mechanical Engineering from Michigan Technological University. During his early career, Marty worked in a variety of settings. He began his professional career in 1977 after graduating. Most Oak Island fans will be aware that Marty is a self-made multimillionaire who made his fortune extracting natural gas in Michigan, but that is not all. After finishing his engineering degree, Marty opted to further his education by studying law. Marty, a multifaceted individual, studied law while working as a petroleum engineer at an oil company, demonstrating the untiring drive he would use decades later on Oak Island. In 1982, he received his Juris Doctor. Marty has served as a consultant and advisor for a variety of companies. Marty also owns various businesses, which have earned him worldwide recognition. He has made significant advances in renewable energy sources through his enterprises, such as Heritage Sustainable Energy. Marty lives a very pleasant personal life with his wife and children. Marty has also amassed enormous riches and renown over his career. Well, Rick, um, it all started here, and so we're going down there together, right? Marty worked as an engineer at the start of his career. Later, he studied law and continued to work there. Marty has always enjoyed acting and aspired to be one. Marty Legina, a well-known American star, has built out an impressive career, particularly in the production of several hit performances. His endeavors have earned him an astounding net worth of $110 million. Marty lives in the United States and owns a number of real estate properties, in addition to his professional achievements. Marty owns two magnificent and spacious properties, one in Kingsford and the other in Cleveland. These mansions are a monument to his achievement and wealth. Furthermore, Marty Legina's presence stretches across the map, with additional residences in key locations such as Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and New York, demonstrating the breadth of his success. His rise from show producer to household figure demonstrates both financial success and global appreciation for his contributions to the entertainment business. Marty Legina's tale is one of triumph, combining professional triumphs with a lifestyle characterized by luxury homes distributed around major American cities. Despite his commercial success, Marty Legina has not always been popular. His success in developing and selling an energy company for millions may appear spectacular, but it came at a cost. Marty tells Randall Sullivan, author of The Curse of Oak Island, the story of the world's longest treasure hunt, that he suffered substantial hostility just because of his position in the oil and gas industry. The younger Legina brother's journey has been difficult due to the enmity he attracted. This antagonism stemmed from his involvement in the oil and gas industry. Even though Marty was successful in his career, the negative publicity he received mirrors the industry's controversies. It's a reminder that success doesn't always shield individuals from public criticism, especially when they are associated with sectors that draw widespread scrutiny. What if we're close to some something big? Mm. You know, you and I. Yeah, <laughs> right. This. This. Well, I know. <laughs> Despite the challenges, Marty's resilience and ability to navigate through adversity underscore the complexities that individuals in certain industries face, balancing personal success with public perception. Alex Legina. If you like The Curse of Oak Island, you must also like Alex Legina. Alex Legina, 
an engineer, excavation expert and businessman, has been on reality TV. He practices his craft on the Oak Islands. Marty, his father and his uncle, purchased a controlling interest in the island tour company. Alex Legina, an engineer, businessman and reality television personality, was born in 1987 in Traverse, Michigan, USA. He is most known for appearing on the reality television show The Curse of Oak Island. Since the 18th century, hundreds of people have been fascinated with Oak Island. It's a mystery area rumored to have a plethora of forgotten treasures and antiquities, long-lost religious texts, Shakespearean compositions, and even alleged pirate plunder are among them. While none of these have been discovered, the island has produced a few significant finds. They were hundreds of years old, based on dating. Alex Legina is an integral part of the reality TV show The Curse of Oak Island, which investigates the island's mysteries. The show, approved by History Channel producers, premiered on January 5, 2014, with brothers Marty and Rick dedicating their time and money in the search for hidden wealth. Alex Legina has been a continuous presence on the show for six years, covering seven seasons and 93 episodes, contributing to 51 of them. His engineering knowledge adds an important dimension to the excavation team's efforts. That Billy sticks that bucket in, and next thing you know, you come up with some really great old artifacts. Particularly as they use cutting-edge equipment to search for buried treasure. Prior to his involvement in the Oak Island activities, Alex Legina worked as an engineer after finishing his education. His engineering background provides a realistic and technical viewpoint on the team's investigation and excavation activities. As the show progresses, viewers watch the Legina brothers' tenacious and daring journey, inspired by historical riddles and the allure of potential wealth concealed on Oak Island. Alex's involvement not only demonstrates his engineering skills, but also emphasizes the collaborative effort among the team with each member playing a unique part in the ongoing exploration. The success of The Curse of Oak Island can be attributed to the combination of historical intrigue, personal dedication, and the expertise brought by individuals like Alex Legina, making it a captivating journey for both the cast and the audience alike. Alex followed in his parents' footsteps. Marty, his grandfather, was a well-known engineer who founded Terra Energy Corporation. The firm focused on gas and oil exploration. Alex Legina is claimed to be in charge of the island's tour company and museum. They display some of the items they uncovered on the island. The Leginas own the Villa Mari Vineyard in their hometown of Michigan. Finally, the Leginas own a wind turbine manufacturer that was once the largest in the world. Alex, predictably, played an important role in the company's day-to-day -day operations for a while. Throughout the story, we've seen him help handle several of his family's business ventures. A wind turbine company and Oak Island tours are just a few examples. As a result, Alex Legina has a current net worth of $50 million. Alex's riches are mostly derived from his family's successful enterprises, which continue to expand over time. In 2019, he appeared in the second season of The Curse of Civil War Gold. This documentary follows Kevin Dykstra, a history teacher, as he searches for missing Civil War gold in Muskegon, Michigan. Marty, Alex's father, appears on the show alongside other aficionados such as Brad Richards and Fred Monroe. They intend to find an estimated $140 million worth of gold. The series captivates history buffs, researchers, and treasure hunters, resulting in an intriguing search for buried treasures from the past. Alex's participation in the show not only adds to his family's travels, but also highlights their shared interest in history and treasure seeking. <laughs> Got a signal! Got a signal, Billy! As the episodes go, viewers witness the trials, discoveries, and thrill of the hunt, making it a compelling experience for people interested in history and the allure of untold wealth. The success of Alex's family companies is intertwined with their search for historical artifacts, creating a dynamic story that captivates spectators. With each episode, the anticipation grows, leaving viewers eager to discover how the Civil War gold quest unfolds and what other fascinating adventures Alex and his family will encounter on their voyage through history and riches. Did Alex Legina die on Oak Island? It has been speculated that Alex Legina died on Oak Island, but such speculations are false because Alex is alive. He now works in his family's Mari Vineyards and is a member of the production team for The Curse of Oak Island. 
Alex Lagina keeps his private life out of the spotlight. However, it is known that he is romantically involved with Instagram star and fashion blogger Catherine Sneed. The couple frequently posts images from their vacations and adventures together on their social media pages. Alex Lagina has been extremely popular and successful throughout the years. In terms of finances, it is estimated that his net worth would be around $10 million by 2024. This progress can be ascribed to his successful television career, involvement in different commercial endeavors, and sound financial judgments. Alex Lagina's television career has contributed significantly to his expanding net worth. He has been an active participant in the entertainment sector, receiving fame for his performances on television shows. This has not only increased his popularity, but it has also helped his financial success. Aside from his television career, Alex Lagina has worked in a variety of commercial projects. These business pursuits most likely contributed significantly to his entire net worth. Entrepreneurial ambitions and clever business decisions are clearly part of his success story. Furthermore, Alex Lagina's financial intelligence and smart decisions have helped him secure and grow his riches. Making informed and cautious financial decisions over time has laid the groundwork for his financial success, demonstrating a strategic approach to resource management. Craig Tester While Marty Lagina is unquestionably one of the show's stars, he would not be where he is today without his buddy, occasional co-star, and long-term business partner, Craig Tester. Craig, a businessman, engineer, and producer, has made a lot of money throughout his career, and his net worth is nothing to scoff at. Craig Tester is a name that has gained popularity, particularly in the worlds of treasure hunting and reality television. Tester, a pivotal protagonist on the History Channel's smash show, The Curse of Oak Island, has become well known for his part in the search for legendary wealth. But beyond the screen, Craig Tester has amassed a sizable net worth through his many ventures. Before delving into Craig Tester's net worth, it's crucial to first grasp his past. Tester was born in the United States on November 7, 1960, and his early life paved the way for his eventual achievement. His interest in engineering and problem solving would eventually lead him to a career that met both his academic curiosity and his financial needs. Not to mention, that he is a mechanical engineer who is putting his abilities to good use in his oil firm, resulting in significant advances. Craig Tester's career trajectory began with his engineering background. With a good educational background, he co-founded Heritage Sustainable, one of Michigan's major wind turbine manufacturers. This enterprise not only demonstrated his engineering abilities, but also signaled the start of his entrepreneurial success, greatly increasing his net worth. Craig Tester, a successful producer and businessman, has a net worth of roughly $6 million, which is mostly due to his success in the television sector. Craig's success extends beyond television to entrepreneurship and engineering. I'm pushing him back as old as is, but you know, it's science and it's the truth, so yeah. we'll pursue that. Where he has made wise investments in a variety of companies over the course of his long career. Craig Tester's multi-million dollar net worth is primarily due to his ventures in engineering companies. Terra Energy, Oak Island Tours Inc., and Heritage Sustainable Energy are three notable examples. These ventures not only contributed to his financial success, but also demonstrated his engineering brilliance. According to Showbiz Cheat Sheet, Craig Tester's current net worth is believed to be between $2.5 million and $5 million. This financial situation strengthens his reputation as a multi-dimensional professional who has successfully navigated both the entertainment and business worlds. Craig's path to fortune exemplifies a combination of creativity in television creation and sound economic decisions. His ability to diversify his investments while excelling in engineering activities has helped shape his financial portfolio. Craig Tester's accomplishments make him a role model for individuals who want to build a name for themselves in the fields of entertainment, entrepreneurship, and engineering. Craig and Marty's friendship dates back several decades, in addition to their collaboration on The Curse of Oak Island in 2014. In the 1970s, the two were college roommates at Michigan Technological University, where they studied mechanical engineering together. Craig, a drilling and resistivity expert, now works in the energy industry alongside his former roommate. Marty, 
a fellow engineer, and Craig own Oak Island Tours Inc., as well as a vineyard and wind turbine company. The duo's latest joint venture is Heritage Sustainable Energy, a wind turbine manufacturer based in Traverse City, Michigan. Craig, vice president and manager of Rock Management Group, puts his BS in mechanical engineering to good use by monitoring Heritage's wind farm development projects and long-term business plans. Craig and Marty partnered to form Terra Energy, an energy firm. Later, they expanded into Oak Island Tours and Heritage Sustainable. Terra Energy's primary purpose is to find and utilize natural gas in Michigan. The corporation has done well, generating more than $3 billion from oil and other resources. Craig's current riches is the result of Terra Energy's large revenues, as well as earnings from Oak Island Tours Inc., Heritage Sustainable, and the History Channel. Terra Energy began by focusing on discovering and tapping into Michigan's natural gas reserves. Craig's net worth has grown dramatically as a result of his success in this enterprise. Over time, the company has not only achieved financial success, but also established itself in the energy market. Oak Island Tours and Heritage Sustainable, Craig and Marty's subsequent companies, have expanded their business portfolio. These enterprises are likely to diversify their revenue streams, potentially preventing them from relying entirely on one industry. Terra Energy's impressive revenues surely have an impact on Craig's current financial situation. The development and utilization of natural gas resources have been critical to the company's growth. I mean, it's very interesting all the stuff you have found. Hopefully, it can tell part of the story. Hopefully, it ties together to give us a date. Additionally, the establishment of Oak Island Tours, Inc. and Heritage Sustainable has expanded Craig's business endeavors. It's worth noting that Craig's involvement with the History Channel through various projects or shows also contributes to his overall income. This diversified approach to wealth accumulation showcases a strategic business mindset and an ability to tap into different sectors successfully. Tester's celebrity increased after he appeared in The Curse of Oak Island, a reality television series about the exploration of the same named Canadian island. The show, which follows the search for historical relics and treasure, has become a History Channel fixture, adding to Tester's popularity and financial success. Craig Tester's net worth is directly impacted by his salary from the Curse of Oak Island. While exact statistics are not publicly released, it is known that reality TV performers of such successful shows frequently command high salaries per episode, which can add up to a big annual income. The importance of The Curse of Oak Island on Tester's financial worth cannot be emphasized. The show has not only supplied him with a consistent income, but it has also boosted his visibility, resulting in new opportunities that have enhanced his wealth. Beyond television, Tester has supplemented his income with wise investments, particularly in real estate. His portfolio comprises properties that generate rental revenue and may appreciate in value over time, thereby improving his financial situation. Fans and financial analysts are both interested in Craig Tester's prospective future projects and how they may affect his net worth. Whether he stays with television or pursues other businesses, these projects will most certainly contribute to his financial growth. Dan Blankenship Blankenship is a seasoned treasure hunter who has been walking around Oak Island for over 50 years seeking for historical artifacts and fortunes. He appeared on the reality TV show The Curse of Oak Island, alongside Rick and Marty Legina, as a man who knew everything about Oak Island's fortunes and secrets. After his father died, his son Dave was forced to continue his father's profession by joining the reality program. I first came to Oak Island in 1972 to give my old man a hand. How much money did Dan Blankenship have? What did he do for a living? Dan Blankenship, an expert on finding treasure on Oak Island, was estimated to have a net worth of $1 million. Dan, who died in March 2019, earned his money by appearing on the history reality show The Curse of Oak Island and conducting business with others. The treasure hunter on the History Channel episode was well-versed in Oak Island history and assisted the Legina brothers in discovering artifacts and treasures. Dan, a World War II veteran, has spent more than half his life in Nova Scotia's northern offshores. He worked hard and was unconcerned about getting harmed while looking for the wealth buried under Oak Island. Like Rick Legina on the show, he grew interested in treasure hunting after reading Reader's Digest in 1965. As a result, 
he and his wife decided to leave Florida and hunt. The man from Ohio never stopped looking, and the plan was not intended to halt his investigation. Dan Blankenship was a normal person who went about his business as usual in Florida. But his entire life changed when he read about Oak Island in the Reader's Digest in 1965. Since then, he is determined to look for the island's ancient secret riches and has begun planning accordingly. He used to live in Florida with his wife, but after reading about the riches on Oak Island, he decided to relocate his entire life to the island. He has made persistent efforts and spent about 45 years digging and looking for the riches that are claimed to be hidden in Oak Island, but he has not achieved success in finding them. His presence on the History Channel's show, The Curse of Oak Island, brought him widespread recognition. People learned about his poignant story via his appearance on the show, and he quickly became the most searched topic on the internet. However, he had little knowledge of her because she had moved to the island several years ago. Unable to uncover the treasure after years of searching disappointed the treasure hunter, but the entrance of Marty and Rick rekindled Dan Blankenship's passion and excitement. Even if he was unable to uncover the treasure, Dan Blankenship's net worth is estimated to be around $1 million, which is sufficient to support his family. The show The Curse of Oak Island became quite famous, and the most recent episodes attracted over 3 million viewers. This not only increased the net worth of the program stars, but also allowed Dan Blankenship to earn a respectable living. Dave Blankenship's legacy on The Oak Island Show endured even after he was no longer his son, Gary Drayton. Gary Drayton is a well-known metal detecting expert. He is also a treasure hunter, trainer, and television personality. He became well-known for his appearance in The Curse of Oak Island. Drayton grew up with a strong interest in treasure seeking. As a result, he pursued his childhood goal professionally. He demonstrated the necessary patience, endurance, and perseverance in this sector. Gary has discovered various historical relics, metal items, and precious stones. Look at that, mate. This is really, really special. This is old. He has uncovered a plethora of antique relics, metal objects, and precious stones throughout the years. Gary Drayton was born on May 30, 1961, in Lincoln, England. He is a well-known metal detecting expert. Gary graduated from the University of England. He is also a professional metal detectorist and treasure seeker. He is a skilled metal detectorist and treasure seeker. In addition, he has written about his treasure seeking experiences and offers personalized training. Gary grew up in Grimsby and spent many years working as a bottle digger in the UK, digging ancient Victorian garbage pits and mud hopping along riverbanks in search of antique bottles, clay pipes, doll heads, and marbles. He discovered bottles from the early 1600s, as well as clay pipes from the 1500s. His oldest bottle found was a Roman perfume bottle during the Roman occupation. Gary's interest in metal detecting began with bottle digging. Each year, he discovered an increasing number of coins while looking for bottles. When Gary relocated across the pond to South Florida, he decided to take his metal detector to the beach and discovered a Spanish silver piece of eight on his first day there. A few months later, he discovered the 1715 Spanish fleet gold and emerald ring. Gary's outside-the-box attitude to metal detecting has led him to experiment with various search strategies and places, always supported by his sight reading and metal detecting skills to uncover treasure. Since then, he has discovered hundreds of gold rings, jewelry of all kinds, coins, silver, Rolex watches, bronze ship spikes, war artifacts, and Spanish treasure. Gary is a tenacious beach scavenger who has even been praised by famous late great 1715 Spanish fleet salvager Bob Weller for possessing the three Ps, patience, persistence, and preserving. Gary is lucky to be able to make a job doing what he enjoys, publishing beach and water hunting books and teaching individual treasure-seeking sessions. His Spanish treasure discovery piqued the interest of Hollywood producers, leading to multiple TV appearances before joining the cast of The Curse of Oak Island, the highest-rated treasure-hunting show in the United States, as the resident metal detector expert. Gary uses a variety of mine lab detectors. His first mine lab metal detector was the Excalibur, which he still uses today, searching for Spanish treasure on the beach. Gary favors the GPX 5000's powerful, deep detection capabilities and big commander search coils. Hopefully it's something good. Come on, my way. 
Hit sail. Like that's the center. Yeah. While on metal detecting vacations, he uses the Equinox 800, and for the majority of tourist beach jewelry searches, he relies on his CTX 3030. What is his net worth? Gary Drayton's net worth is $3 million as of 2023. Gary's most memorable find is the spectacular 300-year-old emerald treasure ring, which is worth $500,000 and is truly a once-in-a-lifetime find. While the thrill of the hunt and that incredible moment when you reclaim something lost for hundreds of years from your scoop has kept Gary interested in detecting. Gary's books outline his unique beach and water hunting methods and search methodologies, allowing all detectorists to benefit from his extensive knowledge. Jack Begley. Jack, noted for his down-to-earth charm, has a significant role in the curse of Oak Island. Fans appreciate his simple attitude, particularly when it comes to digging and soil-related duties. His characteristic green clothing has even garnered popularity, with dedicated social media pages managed by eager showgoers. Jack's story is made more personal by his relationship with Craig Tester, co-owner of Oak Island Tours, Inc. Beck, Jack's mother, married Craig, making him his stepfather. It's a family affair that adds a distinct twist to the show's backstage dynamics. Jack, who is now in his mid-40s and originally from Michigan, USA, has found a place in the hearts of reality TV fans. His Michigan home serves as the base for his travels in The Curse of Oak Island. Fans like Jack's simplicity, which resonates beyond the screen. His green garment, now an iconic symbol, has sparked a social media frenzy, with dedicated accounts on Twitter and Instagram. It demonstrates the show's impact and Jack's lovable personality. As the show's digging specialist, Jack's contributions are invaluable, and his personal ties to Craig Tester give an extra dimension of mystery to the Oak Island story. In reality television, Jack's relatability and authenticity continue to attract fans, making him a beloved figure in the The Curse of Oak Island community. What is his net worth, you ask? Jack Begley's net worth is $5 million. Jack makes money from a variety of sources, including his reality show, popularity, and commercial ventures. Jack is an unavoidable component of this reality-based narrative. His bald hair and bearded appearance have captured the hearts of many spectators. He is both a television star and a producer. The Legina brothers set off on a treasure hunt to the dreaded Oak Island in The Curse of Oak Island. Several centuries ago, it was believed that valuable treasures were buried on the island. The purpose of Jack and the team is to locate such treasures. This show has significantly improved his quality of life. Begley's other projects include Ancient Aliens and The Curse of Oak Island, Drilling Down. In 2018, he embarked on a new business venture by co-founding Remote Energy Solutions. This company was founded with the goal of promoting sustainable and environmentally friendly energy solutions in remote areas. Today, Remote Energy Solutions is one of the most well-known energy companies that help businesses in mining activities. He's a professional drone operator. He most likely completed his training and holds a remote pilot certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration. Aside from these accomplishments, he is a qualified scuba diver. He wrote on Facebook that he learned scuba from John Chatterton, Alec Hutchinson, and Howard Ehrenberg. Jack is a talented and adept treasure seeker, entrepreneur, and reality television personality. According to Zip Recruiter, the average annual compensation for a TV personality is $49,551. The hourly earnings are $1.24. Begley earns an average of $79,753 a year as a drone pilot. According to Glassdoor, the base compensation is $59,095 with an anticipated extra pay of $20,658 each year. His business, Remote Energy Solutions, is doing an excellent job, so this corporation pays him a large sum of money. Jack Begley has been a producer for The Curse of Oak Island since 2015. This History Channel show stars Jack as himself. Begley has been a regular cast member on this television series since its beginning in 2014. According to IMDb, he has held the position of associate producer since 2015. He has helped to produce 70 episodes so far. This show has not yet ended. Fans are hoping for a renewal for the upcoming season. The popular television program's 10th season debuted in November 2022. 
There are rumors that there will be additional seasons in the future. The first episode of the first season aired on January 5, 2014. There were just five episodes in that season. The number of episodes has gradually increased with each successive season. The first episode was called What Lies Below. The show was 44 minutes long. There, Rick and Marty, the primary characters, researched 10X. It was shot in Canada, and Kevin Burns is the executive producer. Craig Tester left the show after Jack's half-brother Drake Tester died in 2017. Drake was only 16 years old at the time. He has also taken part in the treasure hunting show. From their success in the energy sector to their booming vineyard and literary accomplishments, the Legina brothers have built a diverse portfolio. Their search extends beyond the mysterious Oak Island, demonstrating perseverance, entrepreneurship, and strategic investment. Thank you for joining us on this look into the Oak Island crew's net worth and income sources. If you enjoyed this video, please do like it, subscribe for more in-depth content, and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time, keep exploring the secrets with us.